Let's get more detail on what's going on and all the developments in Ukraine today. You can see our defence analyst, Dr Alex Wormsley, is here. Yeah, good to see you again. Let's talk, obviously, first about Lissy Shantz. Just how significant is that capture, if indeed uh, the Russians are to be believed? Yes, if this is confirmed, it's a very strategic and important moment for Russia because it does mean that they will have consolidated their hold on the whole of the Luhansk region. Uh, Lysychansk is a city that was, before the war, about 95,000 people. Um, and there is still fierce fighting, we understand, going on in the city, but it is now encircled by Russians, even though the Ukrainians are holding out. But one of the original goals, in fact, the whole pretext for the invasion on the 24th of February was, said Russia, to liberate uh, the Donbass region, the self-proclaimed republics of Luhansk and Donetsk, uh, from the grip of Ukrainian Nazism and fascism. So this would, this would consolidate this part of the territory and allow Russia to focus on the southern Donetsk region, where they don't, as you can see from this map, have full control. Uh, and, of course, it has to be said, doesn't it, that uh, even the Ukrainians had said that the city was close to collapse, so we're waiting for, uh, for their version uh, of what's happened. What, what about the wider uh, war itself now? Is all the fighting really confined uh, to this region? Well, this is where the fiercest fighting is taking place, but we are seeing some gains and losses on both sides along the southern flank, um, where if you'll remember the fighting around Mariupol um, and as the Russians push forward to Odessa. Um, what we're seeing is that periodically the Ukrainians demonstrate that they can hit Russian targets inside the Russian border with their own missiles that are being supplied from the West. But likewise, the Russians can hit Ukrainian targets very far in the West, such as Kyiv or Odessa, um, with their long-range artillery. Uh, just very quickly, the scenes we've seen in Lysy Shansk, similar in a way to what, what happened in Mariupol, is that right? Very much so. The, the Russian tactic now, there's, they've abandoned all pretext of strategic targeting. It is artillery bombardment till there really isn't much left of the city at all. And then the Russian forces can enter, but, but to a city of rubble. Mm. All right, Alex, thanks a lot.